Well, hi, y'all. It's Trixie. These two idiot sweepstakes scammers let me play them like a cheap violin. They want gift cards, but I nip that in the bud in the beginning and get them going in another direction. Enjoy. Um, hello. Yes, I can. Yes. All right. Beautiful. All right. So whenever my delivery guy shows up at your door tomorrow, you need to greet them with that number so they can see that you should be the one receiving this package. Okay. With the price number. Okay. Your price number. Yeah. And you're going to get your validation card picked up. Have you ever heard of a validation card? I have not. Heard of a okay, validation. is this the first time of winning yourself a prize, ma'am? Um, yes. And which company okay. is this? Mega Millions. Mega Millions okay. Lottery and Sweepstakes. Because we are seeing where you have been participating in our sweepstakes competition for the past five years. And today you were selected as our first place lucky winner of this $3 million. Okay, ma'am? Well, thank you. I'll tell you, I got a call uh, from somebody. It might have been about a year ago. And, okay. Um, and uh, I think it was just a prank. They were trying to play on no. me. Uh, this is 100% legitimate business. That's why I didn't let my agent call you. Me, the manager, I took my time out and call you so you can hear and see for yourself that this is 100% legitimate. This is no fraud or phony baloney. Your prize is here, and we're in Fort Lauderdale. We're coming over to you tomorrow, okay? Well, that's terrific. I, I tell you, uh -huh. the last one, the last one, person that called me, but the reason I thought it was a joke, and I still think it's a joke, uh, the reason no, I thought not. it when was you, is because they you, wanted, they, about a year ago, they wanted me to buy gift cards. Can you believe that? Gift cards? You want to buy gift cards. So I knew Can it was fake. That? What? All right, do understand. Yes, so, I knew I knew it was yeah. fake because because uh, no real company would ever have you buy gift cards. So I knew it was fake. But th this uh, this is real. You said yes. This is real. This is a hundred percent legitimate deal. But the, it's supposed to be um, a green dot card you're supposed to be get a green oh. dot money pack not no gift card oh what's the difference is it that a gift card too no it's a money pack it's a money pack card you're gonna get you're gonna get it for your validation that is for your validation receipt that you're gonna pick up okay how much is it? Three ninety nine. Three hundred and ninety nine. Three dollars and ninety nine cents. Three hundred and ninety nine dollars. Three hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars. Three hundred and ninety nine dollar. Not three hundred and ninety nine thousand. Three hundred. Three hundred and ninety nine dollar. Three ninety nine. That's what I told you. Oh, $399. So, let me ask you a question. When did they, did those guys call you and tell you that you are a winner? Last year? How long ago was that? About a year ago. So, what company did they call you from? They said they were with the Publishers Clearing House. But this is the Mega Million. Mega yeah. Million. Can you write down the name of my company? Mega Million. Mega Million. Well, I already bought gift cards for the Publishers Clearinghouse, and I didn't get anything. How much gift card do you buy? Um, I can't remember now. It was the. It was a lot, though. So, do you interested to receive and claim your prize that you have won, or you do not? Um, 
Well, I use online banking with the Bank of America. Uh, is there any way I can pay the fee with something other than gift cards? Because I, I, I like I said, I'm not buying another gift card ever, ever in the, in my life. So you do not want to get no card, right? That's right. I already I already bought gift cards before. And do you interested to receive your prize or not? Do you want to receive this? Yes or no? Yes, I very much want to receive it. You said it's three million dollars. Yes. How old are you? Eighty-three. Well, I just want to take the time out to say congratulations to you once more. And you're going to receive your prize tomorrow, ma'am. You just have to follow my instruction. And I want to make sure that you're interested because as long as you're interested, nothing won't stop you from receiving claim what is rightfully yours because you are in the right hand now. Now you are in the right hand. Okay, ma'am? Well, that so sounds once wonderful. More, I, once more, congratulations. How do you feel to one in yourself $3 million? How are you feeling today, tonight? Well, I'm feeling, I'm feeling uh, surprised and amazed and very happy because I thought I had won before, but I didn't. So to find out that I really did win now this time is wonderful. So you say that you cannot get any more of those gift cards, not even at the Wild Green? No, not even at Walgreens. But if I could pay my taxes a different way, I would do that. I'm going to work it out for you. Maybe I try to get a, a merchant banker that is working here that I can have you made out even a money order, or I will have you try to get yourself a stamp of approval receipt, but I will let you know. But it's going to cost you the three ninety nine. Only three hundred and ninety nine dollars. And it's also gonna be for your taxes and that is gonna take care of your shipping and handling fee and it's gonna be reimbursed back to you. All right? Okay. I don't have to pay any so taxes. After you get your prize that I told you that you won, the three million dollar, after you get your prize, you're not going to pay no more taxes, but you're going to take care of the taxes tomorrow. The three hundred and ninety nine dollar, you're going to take care of your taxes tomorrow for you to be having your check, been having a stamp of approval on your check tomorrow. So it can get ready to be for your delivery tomorrow morning. With okay. the three hundred and ninety nine would the three hundred and ninety nine dollar be a problem for you tomorrow? Uh no. No. And do you have any question that you wanna ask me? Um well, is there any way I can just do it in my online banking without having to go anywhere? Pardon me? Is there any way I can just do it in my online banking without having to go anywhere? I had some cataract surgery and I'm not supposed to drive for a few days. I'm going to let you know exactly what you're going to do tomorrow because we're going to try to work out something for you tomorrow. But let me tell you this because we do two type of delivery. We do the private delivery and we do the public delivery. Do you want to be on the TV or are you ready to be private? I think I'd rather be private. So you rather to keep your business confidentially and privately, right? Uh, yes. And you're Mrs. Barbara, right? That's right. Okay, and is this is the first time you get a call today? No one call you today? No, no one's called me today. I hope that you understand what I told you because I really want to make sure that you receive it because you deserved it. And I want you to have this in your hand tomorrow because you can spend it, right? What would you do with $3 million tomorrow and after when you receive it? What would be your plan? Oh, my goodness. Well, I think I would um, 
uh, invest some of it. I'm going to give some of it to the church. And then I think I'm going to go on a cruise. Very good. And I hope that you even gave back some to your church. Oh, yes, I definitely would do that. Do you go to church today or you never went to church today? I didn't because I had that cataract surgery and I'm not supposed to drive. Let me ask you a few questions. It's not going to be private. What was your occupation before you retire? What type of job you used to do in your younger days? I was a school teacher. I was a school okay, teacher. For how many years? About uh, 25 years. Well, I can understand that you're a very intelligent lady and you're also a very smart lady. And I hope whenever you receive this money, you spend your money wisely because nothing in this time has come easy, okay? So I hope right. that you make sure you spend your money wisely and enjoy yourself, okay? Oh, thank you. I, I'm sure I will. I will love it. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to go on the road tomorrow, but you say that you could try to do a wire connection, right? Oh, uh, a wire connection? Uh, yeah, if I can do that, that's a good idea. So you do not have a mail, a mailbox at your home? Yes, I have a mailbox. Well, I'm going to try to see what we can work out tomorrow. What time would the mail guy come tomorrow? Oh, it varies. Sometimes they come in the morning, sometimes they come at night. We haven't been able to keep a regular mail carrier lately, and so it's very sporadic. Okay, so you say that you would try to make um, the mail guy um, tomorrow. Would you see them tomorrow in the morning? Uh, I, I would try. Okay, get a pen and a clean sheet of paper. I'm going to provide you with this name of my merchant banker, the address and also the name, so you can have it from now. So get a pen and a clean sheet of paper. I'm on the line. Oh, I, okay? still, have, I still have my pen and paper right here. Okay, it's P.O. Box. P.O. Box? 254. Two, five, four. Right, and then you're going to go down to the bottom. Go underneath the bottom and you're going to write 1560 Farmington. Farmington, okay. Right, New York is the state. So you're going to have to put the 399 in the mail tomorrow because this is the address which is we have on duty for you to be having this taken care of tomorrow. So we can have this be delivered to you the first thing in the morning by 10.30, 11 o'clock, the latest, whenever your bank opens. The name is T, as in the letter T. Mm -hmm. And the last name is T. Well, I can't make a check out to just somebody named T. It's not a check. It's not I a check. I need a money order. You're not order. Gonna a check. It's going to be cash. Cash? I'm not mailing cash to some somewhere. You can't mail cash. That's against the law. I mail right, a check. Um, Hello? 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 Sweetheart, why did you hang up? Well, I didn't. And then I, when I tried to call you back, it said uh, I couldn't put the call through. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to change the limited merchant banker because we thought you were mailing out the raw cash. So if you were mailing out the raw cash, that's the address. But because you said you're going to write out a check, we're going to give you a legitimate address for the check to be sent to, okay? Oh, that one wasn't legitimate? Yes, it was legitimate, but that was for cash. That was for cash. We're going to give you another address to send check, Okay. Okay. Well, All right. Sure Are you ready legitimate. for another address? So the, okay. The first address. The first address you can get rid of it. So throw away the first address. Okay. Throw it away. Okay. Throw it away. All right. So the second address now. Are you ready? Yes. It's four nine five, Alabama three seven zero two four. All, All right. right. And the name of this person is going to the licensed merchant banker name. You're going to mail out the check to is Shell. All right, can you spell it? 
That's correct. So remember, you need to have everything correct. So once you receive this check, we can go ahead and put this stamp on your $3 million check, and then we can be over, okay, tomorrow. Well, that's just wonderful. So, beautiful. So you're going to mail out a check for the 399 that person, have it sent to that address. You're going to put it in your mailbox first thing tomorrow morning and okay. have it done so we can be over. Okay. Okay. Now, if it's one of those days where my mail person is doesn't show up or something, uh, should I wait till the next day or should I use my bank to do it? Man, do you want me to do it as a wire no, don't transfer? Use the bank. No. no, don't worry yourself. It's going to do a mail. So even if he doesn't show up tomorrow, that's fine. Just ensure first thing tomorrow morning you put it in your mailbox and you put this address, okay? Okay. All right. That sounds All right. great. So can you go, you have your checkbook, everything, can I write out the check now over the phone? Well, I can't write a check over the phone. I have to write it. No, I mean with me, with me on the line with you. Oh, uh, well, no, I'll write a check. I'll write a check. Uh, I don't need to be on the phone to write a check. Yes, go get the checkbook. I'm on the line. I wrote the check. Write up the check now? Right. Okay. I'm on the line. I'm, I'm here on the line. You get the checkbook, and whenever you back, you let me know. I'm on the line. Okay, ma'am? Are you the same person I was just talking to? Did your voice change, or did you switch people on me? No, no. No, no what? What are you talking about? Well, sometimes you sound like one person, and then a little bit later you Remember, sound like the a phone, different no, person. No, no, no. Remember, the phone, they always have static. I'm not hearing static. Sometimes it sounds like one person, and then the next thing I know, it sounds like a different person. No, no. Remember, we all here working at the company, ma'am, and we also associate it with also our people here at the company. So it's not a big problem if you're talking to me oh, or if okay. you're talking to no one else because this is the company that you're speaking with, and it's the Mega Millions. You're not okay. speaking with no different men. Oh, okay. Well, can I talk to the man I was talking to a few minutes ago? The other guy, right? Yeah. All on the line. Because he answered the other guy that he was talking with on the other line with the address. So I have to hold the phone to hold the line, okay? Oh, okay. You just, he's on the other line with the other guy. And he is the one which is assigned it to your price. So I he touched the phone, letting me notify that you're supposed to be get the check to write out the check to the lady in Alabama. Oh, but okay. But he's here right beside of me. He's here right beside of me because we're both here and we're working at the one company. So I want you to understand he was talking with the other guy with the price package in their hand. Everything oh. is safe, ma'am. You're in the right hand, okay? Oh, okay, because I was confused because uh, I picked up on his voice, and the he, next he, thing you know, I had here yeah. right beside. He's here right beside me if you want to talk with him. Hello, I'm still here. Because we're both here. That's my manager, okay? So you can speak with him. Nothing wrong is going on. We're all here, okay? We're just oh. having... We're just having some paperwork done, okay? So you can speak with him. Oh, now I've got you both on the line. Well, that's wonderful. Right, right. So he's on the other line with the guys trying to have everything started out for you because he's trying to get some information to make sure that you don't make no mistake. So this is the right information that you need so you can write out the check. You're going to need to have to write out the check, okay, ma'am? Right. Well, which one of you is Michael? I am Michael. The first one that was talking to you first, I am Michael. His name is Tony. So Tony I am Michael. And Michael. He is Tony. Michael and Tony. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yes. Yes. So I have to make sure that I have to be here because remember, he cannot work at a company he alone. We both have to make sure that we make everything possible for you tomorrow. So whenever we come over, you're going to be expected your UPS delivery guy tomorrow in the morning. So I'm going to be on your delivery tomorrow. So nothing for you to worry about, okay? Oh, you both won't be here? 
Right. We both gonna be here tomorrow, so you're gonna see us both tomorrow on your big day. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that sounds that sounds really, really wonderful. I'll tell you what. When the Everything two of is... you, when the two of you speak at the same time, like when you were both on the phone at the same time and you talk at the same time, your voices like harmonize beautifully together. Everything Has anybody okay, ever told you that? Everything is okay. Everything is going to be okay for you. We just have to make sure that you're confident in what you're doing and you are in the right hand. So everything is on the open up for you. I just want for you to get the checkbook, write out the check so we can get everything o over with for you tomorrow. Do you have a stamp and an envelope? Uh, yes, 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 I do. Get your yes, envelope and your stamp from on the line and you're going to write out the check. Call me on the line and get your checkbook, write out the check, and I'm on the line. Yes, Call me I'm, on the line. Don't hang me up, okay? I'm not going to hang Keep you up. Keep the line open, okay? And this is Tony, right? Yes, Tony McCoy. Tony McCoy. Tony, That's have you ever you have a you have a bright, clear voice? Has anybody ever told you 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 uh, sound like you could be a singer? Well, I thank you. You're the first one that I ever hear that told me that, and I I I thank you very much because I have to speak loud and clear because remember I have to make sure that you hear what we told you. Okay. Yes, it's. I'll tell you, it's a joy to talk to you on the phone because your voice is so loud and clear and and uh, easy to understand and and it's it's melodic. It, it, you you sound like you could be a a singer or one of those rappers. I mean, your voice is just so uh, so crisp and clear. Okay, thank you very much, You're and I, I I I I hear you. What's Michael's last name? Tony McCoy. I don't know why that sounds familiar. Grayson. Michael Grayson. Michael That's Grayson. Right. That's right. right. Michael Grayson. I hope that when you see us both, I hope whenever we come over, I hope that when we come over, you're going to thank us for what we have done for you because by the impression of your voice, as I told you, that you are a very nice and also a very smart lady, and I want for you to see us both tomorrow on your delivery day, okay? Well, thank you. I'm so excited uh, about it all. I really, really am. Are you sure you're not a singer? So, this is a 100-person legitimate deal, and I'm not calling your phone to give you any excitement, we're not trying to give you any baloney, ma'am. I know that you want to make sure that this is on the open up. And I already told you that you are in the right hand. Nothing for you to worry about. Everything is going to be on the over with for you. And everything is going to be on the done with for you. So no need for you to worry yourself as long as you're speaking with Michael and Tony. Everything is going to be on the open up for you. Nothing for you to worry about, okay, ma'am? Well, now you've got me worried. I don't want to be over and done with. This is going to be over with tomorrow. Well, and you make it sound so final like I'm going to die or something. Everything is going to be on the open up for you tomorrow. So you just got to get your checkbook and you write your check so we can have everything have delivered to you tomorrow. Well, I got my checkbook here, and I've got my envelope, and I've got my stamp out of the drawer, so I'm ready to go. Okay, you're gonna write out your your amount. You're gonna write out the amount. Do you remember how much I told you that it's gonna cost you for the amount? Um, three hundred and ninety-nine thousand. It seems like you do not want to listen to what I told you, right? Oh, I bid three hundred and ninety-nine dollars. That is currently correct. I said the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not going to let 
I'm not going to let you down, so I have to make you know what we told you, okay? Well, if I wrote the check for 399000 it would bounce. I only have about $60,000 in there, so it's a good thing. Okay, write out the check. Write out the check for the 399 and hold me on the line, okay? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm writing it now, but I've got to do it with one hand, so... Um, you know, I've enjoyed speaking with you and Tony so much today. It has brightened my day. Michael, I've been... Michael, you were talking to. Michael oh, is the first one that Michael. called you. Michael was the first one we were talking to you, and he touched the phone over to me because he was he's still on the other line with the guys over there in your state, so they can have everything wrapped up for you tomorrow down there in Florida. Right? Yes. Okay. I got you confused. I write the check. Just write the check and I and hold me on the line. Well, I am writing it. I'm gonna... Which one of you is the better I'm singer? Fine. That way, that'll help me identify, t tell you apart. Which one of you can sing better? Well, the both of us can sing very good. Both of us is a very good person. The both of us is just like brothers from another mother. We are brothers and sisters by God. God is the one that have everything possible for you. Not only me and Mr. Michael. God is the one that made this possible for you. So you can have yourself your prize in your hand and live yourself a wonderful life. Take your vacation and take care of yourself. So God is the one who made this possible for you, not only me and Mr. Michael, not only me, Mr. Tony, and Mr. Michael. God made this possible. All righty? Well, I believe that's true. I, I believe that's true. And after all this, I'm gonna, I need a vacation. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that. Um, Very good. But I am having Very a hard good. time telling you apart. But... Can you sing a little bit? I don't care what song it is. That music helps me remember things. Can you sing a little bit of something? Do you want me to sing something? Yes, I don't care what it is. Music helps me remember. This is not no singing that we're doing here. But whenever we come over tomorrow, I sing to you face to face tomorrow. Face to face tomorrow. Do you um, want me to sing face to face to you tomorrow? Oh no, I'd rather hear it over the phone, honestly. That way, it just help me remember. To the office. We have to be at the office. We have to be professional. So we cannot talk any phony baloney stuff. Even though I know that you want to hear me sing, but everything has been recorded by the Homeland Security. And everything has been recorded by for quality purpose. Okay. Well, I won't. I won't tell anybody. Just sing, uh, sing something from church, a church song that you like. That would be a blessing to my ears since I didn't get to go to church today. So you want me to be singing for you church song? Because yes, you're not gonna feel good if you do not hear me sing for you. Yes, I'd love to hear a church about, song since I didn't get to go today. About, I'm going to think about a song, okay? Well, think it's about all it. Done. All right. How do you spell the word 90? 90? They, they have an E in it? Yeah. N I N T Y? 90? Okay. I can never remember if it has an E in it. Okay. No problem. You ever hear that song, This Little Light of Mine? Yes, this little oh. light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, Lord, this keep going. Light of mine. Didn't you hear me sing for you? Oh, get closer to the phone so I can hear it better. Go ahead. I had laid the phone down because I was writing the check. Get the check, write the check, and I'm gonna sing for you. Okay, and I'm mail just... the check tomorrow. Okay, go ahead while I'm writing. I said this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Didn't you hear that? Keep going. E in the 90. E in the 90. N-I-N-E-T-Y. 90. 
Oh, all right. Let me put the E in there. Tomorrow, whenever I come over, I sing a better for you. You just write the check and you mail the check, put the stamp on the check. Make sure that the check is not a bunk check. It's not going to bounce. There's about $60,000 in there. Maybe while you sing, Tony could clap his hands. Pardon me? Maybe while you sing, Tony could clap his hands. Like a choir, you know? Yeah, so do you get the check right out? I've got it written down. Now I'm doing the envelope. Oh, I hate that I missed church today. Do you know Amazing Grace? Do you know if you're happy and you know it, clap your hand? I love that one. Go and do the stuff, and then whenever I come over, I deliver your prize. If you're not interested, don't not waste my time. What do you mean? I already wrote the check. What do you mean if I'm not interested? Well, get the check and write the check if you have the check and mail the check, okay? I already wrote the check. Okay, write the check and mail the check, and tomorrow we have this done for you. We have to go because we're getting caught. Do you hear that? Uh, no. We have to go, sweetheart. Okay? We have to go. Bye. We no, talk to you tomorrow please, in the morning. Please don't it's, go. It's, you, you heard the phone, right? You heard the phone ringing. Yeah, I'll talk you to you first thing in the morning. Have Just to, write out the check for the three ninety nine for Cheryl and put it in your mailbox tomorrow. And I'll call you first thing in the morning. See? Yeah, the guys you, are calling us. They need the package to be carried. We have to go see them. Don't, this is not our talk. If you're, if you're going to write the check, you, you write the check. Go. You all can sing. Please stay. Are you hearing me? Please stay. Bye. Goodbye, okay? No, tomorrow. don't hang up. Is this for real? Hello? What did you say? Why would you hang up on me if this is real? This is for real because I think the we have been talking to you for over hours. I know, but I just am enjoying it so much. Well, you enjoy talking. You do not want to write the check. And I already wrote the check. I already wrote the check. the check. Put, well, honey, put, put the mail the isn't going to oh. come now. It'll come tomorrow. I'm going to put it out there in the in the in the morning or either I'll put it out there I'll put it out there first thing in the morning and then I'll um All right, put it out there mail it, it but I'm enjoying I'm enjoying this so much please don't go so you do not want me to go no I just you're singing such nice songs and it was making me feel good since I missed church and I was just enjoying it so much do you take this for a joke no, sir, I don't. Is it a joke? This is not a joke, ma'am. So I do not want you to think that no one is calling your phone because you're supposed to be receiving a prize and we told you you're going to laugh as if that you take this for a joke. No, I'm only laughing because I'm happy. I'm just thrilled, thrilled to death. Do you, do you married? Are you single? I'm single. You're single. I'm single. Okay. And, All right. We have to go now because, remember, we have to try to get our way because our company, we do not have the time to be on the phone this late if this is a business. Well, I'm just no enjoying publisher. your, I'm enjoying talking to you so much. And I just, when but you sang to me, it just... I ever, this is the first time I ever talk to you. What time tomorrow do you get up? Uh, uh, oh yeah, the prize delivery. What time are you coming tomorrow? What time do you get up tomorrow? I asked you a question. You uh, do not want to answer me? Oh no, I get. I usually get up and uh, have coffee and uh, about nine o'clock. All right, I call you tomorrow by eight fifty. Okay. And oh, I that, think for you if you. That would be nice. I just have enjoyed our conversation so much. I don't have a chance do to talk to people that, that often, especially since I'm... Do you think that... What? All right, bye. No, please bye. don't go. You Michael. Go. Can I... Tomorrow. Bye. Is this Michael or Tony? Hello? All right. I hope you enjoyed part one. The link to part two 
is in the description. Please like and subscribe. It helps me keep the channel going.